Hello and welcome back students to the second part of section one in the AS level psychology course and in this lesson we will be looking at types of hypotheses so without further ado let's jump straight in. Now aims and hypotheses. Aims and hypotheses provide an outlook onto the experiment a psychologist is ready to conduct. So students do get them confused sometimes but they can be distinguished quite easily. An aim is what you're setting out to achieve in the experiment so and that differs from the hypothesis as the hypothesis is more of a prediction of the expected outcome of the experiment. So for example, the aim is what you are setting out to achieve, so to investigate the effects between drinking caffeine and the amount of sleep um, participants get. And the hypothesis can be something like, you know, well it depends on the type of hypothesis because there are three types of hypotheses which we're going to look at in a moment. But the hypothesis is only the prediction, so let's just say a basic one. The more caffeine you drink, the more you, the less uh, sleep you'll get. But that differs in the three types of hypotheses. So the first type is a non-directional. Directional is the second type. And thirdly, a null hypothesis. So we're going to look at these now. Now, a non-directional hypothesis states that there will be an effect between the dependent and the independent variable, but it doesn't specify what the direction of that effect will be. That is to say, if we have a look at an example, Drinking caffeine will alter how much sleep you'll get in hours. It clearly states that there will be an effect during the dependent variable, which is how much sleep you're going to get, and the independent variable, how much caffeine you're going to drink. But it doesn't say um, whether that will mean you get more sleep or less sleep. It only says it will alter how much sleep you get. If you are unsure on what the dependent and independent variable means, I would advise you to go over to the next lesson now, part three, where we'll be looking at variables, just to study up on that quickly and then come back to this one. But if you do remember them from GCSE, we can carry on with the video. So, as I was saying, it does show the effect between dependent and independent, but it doesn't say what the effect will be. Now, this differs from a directional hypothesis, which you guessed it, is pretty much the opposite. It states that, again, that the independent and dependent variable will have an effect of each other, but it also states the direction of that effect. That is to say that drinking more caffeine will make you sleep less hours in one night. So that's pretty straightforward. Now, the last type of hypothesis, which students sometimes forget, is the null hypothesis. So the null hypothesis states that if there is an effect between the dependent and the independent variable, it will be down to chance and not due to the effect of the experiment. So for example, drinking more caffeine will not influence how much you sleep in one night, but in fact, it depends on the participant levels of stress at the time, pretty much when they're about to sleep. So what they're studying doesn't actually contribute to um, the effects of the experiment, but something, some other confounding variable outside of their realm of sort of things they can control themselves that affects the experiment. So in this case, it is the levels of stress affecting the sleep. Okay, so we've reached the questions of the video now. It's just a quite a quick lesson on just seeing what the types of hypotheses are. So I'd like you to pause the video, answer these questions, and hit play whenever you're ready to check them. Okay, here are the answers. If you did get them all right, uh, give yourself a pat on the back and check out the next video, which will be variables. If not, I would advise you to rewind. Just take note of these three definitions, which are quite vital in the psychology course, especially in section one, which is research methods. And then you can move on to the next video. And the next video, we will be looking at variables. If you weren't too sure what dependent independent variables were in this lesson, you know, check out um, variables and do come back. But if not, and you're ready to look at more complex variables that aren't necessarily just dependent independent variables, you are ready to move on to the next video. So as of then, I will see you later.